And we back! Y'all, after a few day break, I can finally say that again. I, I'm, I'm off my game. Hold on. That's better. And we back, y'all. Hopefully, everybody had a happy holidays and Merry Christmas. I am here and ready to get back on the video grind. If you didn't know, I had taken a little break after going 24 straight days uploading on here. But I haven't uploaded on my other channels daily. So, I didn't really take a break. I... Let's be honest, I took a break from 2K, but we back doing another video. Today's video is brought to you by NordVPN. As you know, NordVPN is one of the most important tools for me. When I go traveling, I need this VPN to keep me safe. Now let me fill you in if you've been living under a rock and have no idea what a VPN is. A VPN is the easiest and most efficient way for people to protect their internet traffic and keep their identities private online. As you connect to a secure VPN server, your internet traffic goes through an encrypted tunnel that nobody can see into including hackers, government, and your internet service provider. Now, I like to keep all of my information secure, and I hope you do too, and NordVPN is the perfect way to do that. And even if you're not all about security, this can open up Netflix to a new world for you. Sometimes I'm bored with the American Netflix selection, so I'll use my VPN, I'll change my location to the UK, and see all of the different shows and movies that I just unlocked. And listen, I always do these and get y'all a deal, don't I? NordVPN has this crazy offer going now. If you go to nordvpn.com slash KLT for a Q and use KLT for a Q at checkout, you get 68% a two-year subscription. That's not it. And four months free. How can you pass up on that where you get everything secure, where you can change your Netflix and so many other things? That's 68% off if you go to nordvpn.com slash KLT for a Q and use KLT for a Q at checkout. So NBA 2K21 on Next Gen hasn't really hit the way a lot of us expected to. A lot of the people in the community that do this content creation thing have completely decided not to upload NBA 2K21. And us in the My NBA and Miley community are earning similar boats, man. A lot of things hasn't changed. And a lot of that stems from well, the rosters. There's a lot of things that are going on with the rosters. They are shot Tennessee mess ups. My boy Daniel Gaffer has never attempted a three in his NBA career, but there are simulations where he is sitting in the corner and popping threes regularly. Of course, missing them all, but his three point Tennessee was so high that he was a, a high volume three point shooter. We saw people that have badges that should not have badges, people that shouldn't have. It's just the rosters have been kind of trash. Now, through my searching, I found someone that claims to make the most real realistic rosters possible the attention to detail where he go through every single person's tendencies their badges their overall and try to make it the most realistic nba experience possible and in today's video i wanted to take a look at these rosters i want to play around with these rosters and really see if the creator of it did their job and did it well now i know i just said that the roster creator do their job well first of all this is not their job this person took a lot of time out of their day i mean i'm guessing they've been working on this since the lots of 2k21 next gen so i'm gonna give them a lot of support here you can see it's on playstation 5 and xbox series x and if i'm not mistaken i looked on his twitter and i think he's working on one for current gen as well so everybody can experience what he calls the attention to detail 2k21 now here's everything that he changed throughout it and i was impressed i have not downloaded it or looked at it and we're gonna live react to it together shout out to this guy for for taking the time to do this because whether it is a l or a w i mean a lot of time is spent on it so shout out to the guy uh celtic lg and as you can see the man spent a lot of time from tendencies a lot of the tendencies i'm gonna put this in the description if you want to go through and look exactly where he did it like he went down to triple threat jab pump fake i like he spent a lot of time new leu pass and dunk tendencies based on real life stats and he even linked you the stats like he went really in depth so i'm when I see stuff like this, attention to detail is something I'm super excited about. And um, he even get down to the attributes. Close mid three-point attributes upgraded with new formula that takes into account percentage and volume. So this is going to dramatically change some people's like overall. And I don't want you to look at a player's overall once we get to this roster. And maybe it's higher than you expect or lower than you expect and think that the roster is an L. Because he's telling you right here, it's not necessarily based on what we typically see with 2K. So a person may have a lower overall that we like a guy can be an 83 when we expected him to be a 90 it's just going to change based on similar things like this i don't know what's this formula oh my god they're spreadsheets hey my nerds out there and i don't mean that in a negative connotation my stat nerds out there are going to really enjoy this athletic attributes speed acceleration vertical lateral quickness updated based on combine numbers plus age and some correction so we're gonna see 
hopefully a difference between the slower players and the faster players, more dramatic than we see in 2K, because I be having players like, for in past 2Ks, like players like Sean Livingston, who is a good NBA player, but obviously never was fast, be keeping up with some of the faster guys, and hopefully with this roster, that's not the case. Now, this is the part of it that made me say, like, I want to try a video on this, and it has to do with the badges. Reduce the number of players who have been assigned badges in order to separate the true specialists from other players. Every badge is assigned to a max 20 to 40 players depending on the badge. So people that are known to be legendary shooters, the Duncan Robinson, JJ Redick bunches, are going to have dramatically more shooting badges than the average NBA player. Than even the superstar NBA player because we want to see the three-point specialist. We want to see the rebound and specialist. I'm guessing Drummond is one of the few people to have rebound chaser Hall of Fame. Things like that matter because we want to when we're building a team. It just it makes it matter a little bit more. Oh, snap, my team needs rebounding. Let me go get the best rebounder possibly in NBA history because our team sucks at rebounding. In a normal 2K video, I could just go get a guy with high rebounding attributes and be like, okay, that's our new guy. But now with the increased badges and decrease of other people's badges, people that are specialists matter more. Like, come on, bro. Playbooks. Play styles. Woo, that's exciting. Hot zones. This man went deep into hot zones, y'all. Signatures. Um, we got accessories and shoes for the guys that really make sure that, hey, he, he usually wear a wristband. I need 2K to have him a wristband on. True durability. Real life coaching staff. Coaching profiles and coaching sliders is a W. You cannot, 2K, in your right mind tell me that Rick Carlisle is a D-minus offensive coach. I'm going to tell you, you've never watched a single Mavericks game. If you think Rick Carlisle is a D-minus, and I'm guessing that this guy made a lot of a difference there. Things like loyalty, play for win... I'm going to put all this in the description, but as you can see, this guy spent a lot, I mean a lot of time on this, and I just spent a lot of time going through it, through this with you. Let's go over and finally look at the rosters. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. We loaded it in, and the first thing I noticed is that Joel Embiid's overall, if I'm not mistaken, is worse than what it... You know what I should do? I should pull up the normal rosters here so I can see the, the impact of the attribute changes. Okay, so I do have it pulled up on my main monitor, and Joel Embiid at the launch of 2K21 was a 91 overall, and as you can see with these rosters, he's dropped. Again, I don't want y'all to look at the overall and think that that's, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm guessing that a lot of people will drop as far as overall goes. Like Tobias Harris is an 84 in the current 2K, but in this roster, he's a 79, and he only has one badge, and it is corner specialist. That is very interesting. Matisse Steibel has 10 bads and all of them are on the defensive side of the ball, which I think is true for the regular 2K as well. But if I'm looking at this, his overall is actually better in this version than it was in the last version. I'm guessing because of that specialist we were talking about. As much as I want to talk about JJ Redick and Duncan Robinson, the shooting specialist, we have defensive specialists here. Next team is Giannis and the Milwaukee Bucks. Giannis is a 97 in the real game. And in this one, he is a 96. So he's dropped one. Now, what I'm curious about is how he had 56 badges at the launch and now he only has 28 because they want to make it make sure well, we already explained why his badges will be lower so that's kind of cool chris middleton has dropped a little bit um the crazy thing is that bobby portis has got better with this and i'm interested to see how that's gonna play out um i'm trying to find like the most crazy drop here are my chicago bulls i can't complain about anybody's overall dropping because Y'all see what we be doing on a nightly basis, dog. <laughs> Y'all see what we be doing. Um, so, yeah, this is a team that's kind of irrelevant. Now, I don't know what these statistics are based on. Obviously, the um, the Cleveland Cavaliers are a lot better this season, at least the beginning of this season they were last year. So, I would guess that Colin Sexton's overall is probably a little bit worse than what it should be. But, again, we're not necessarily focusing on overall more than anything. Um, then we have Jason Tatum with the Boston Celtics. And he went from a 90 to an 86. And... Where the heck? Oh, Kemba's injured. Woo! I was, I was like, wait, no way you made Kemba that bad, but he's injured, so that, that does make sense. Um, so it's not necessarily about the overalls, it's how they play. And we will go through with franchise and, and go through and try to see who wins a championship, maybe spectate on some games and see if tendencies and everything look good. I want to take a look at like who's who's a specialist? Like, um, we're the Heat. Yeah, we're the Heat. Duncan Robinson is an important player. Ben Matabayo plays a power forward position in this. But Duncan Robinson, catch a shoe Hall of Fame, corner specialist Hall of Fame, and he will be one of the few players in this entire game with these badges, which means that he is more valuable to, to teams because, I mean, y'all know in real life when Duncan Robinson is on, ain't no stopping him. And even an off day is still better than a lot of people on days. You know what I'm saying? 
so yeah this is very interesting stuff here and you're gonna see a lot more players with like zero badges because if you ain't if you just i you don't deserve no badges i'm gonna be honest with you here are the lakers because i know a lot of lakers fans are out there so here we go with lebron with 31 badges um He's got some, he's got clutch shooter. He's got all of this stuff. He's got Chase Down Artist Hall of Fame, which makes sense. Even at his 35 year old age, he still does things like that. Anthony Davis is looking good and he's playing power forward. Y'all know 2K be having him try to run a center position, but you know, in real life, this man don't like running center. So they didn't force him to play center in this sim. Luca takes one of the biggest drops, drops down to an 87. In a normal game, he was a 94. So that is 100% the most dramatic drop. And I'm guessing Porzingis is injured. He is injured, but he's only an 80. Um, I'm, I'm curious to how that's going to play out. Is Luca still going to average a 30 point triple double like he does in, in other Sims? I'm guessing not, but I'm guessing he still will be very good. This is the weirdest one to me. Um, Al Horford is the highest overall player for the Thunder. So, you know, um, I'm Robert Covington is going to be a good study case for this video because y'all know Robert Covington notoriously is really bad in 2k. So with these attention to detail rosters, he shouldn't be that bad, right? Let's go in and, and finally get to my NBA and see what it's about. So this is not a rebuild or anything. Uh, I just kind of want to see how things are going to go. So I'll pick the Chicago Bulls and just, just see, you know what I'm saying? I'll load in the Cade Cunningham draft class, even though I don't think we're going to go more than one singular season. But maybe we will go into free agency because he said he also adjusted it like players loyalty um their willingness to play for um championship teams and a lot of different stuff so we'll see how this goes last thing i want to do is i want to be able to look at every single potential trade that happens because with upgraded everything players value should be a little bit different so i want to put on trade approval luca is still on some nut stuff right now wow um so yeah his 70 his 87 overall didn't mean a thing because he's still averaging ridiculous numbers um I can't say anything here is like crazy, right? Nothing here is, it seems any that much different than what we are used to. Rebound numbers, we should see, oh, Clint Capella's up top. Oh, where's Drummond? Rudy Gobert so far this season has been like the best rebound in the league, but like Drummond should be up there as well. When it comes to assists, Steph Curry is averaging 31 and 11. De'Aaron Fox is averaging 19 and 10. John Wall is averaging, tw okay, steals. Kawhi is averaging three. Blocks, Mr. Robinson is averaging three. I don't think... Oh, wait, wait. Here it is. Where is... What is Robert Covington doing? He's the only person we care about in today's video. Where the heck is Robert Covington? What is he... Robert Covington is playing like Robert Covington. His numbers look similar to his previous numbers in his career. Honestly, they got him even better because his three-point shot is better. Oh, my God. Robert Covington is actually a basketball player with these rosters. Huh. While we simulate, I would recommend taking the links in the description and uh, taking all my other channels, man. We've been dropping daily NBA videos because I, I know you like NBA because why the heck would you be watching this channel if you didn't? So go check out my my, uh, my secondary channel where we've been doing that daily NBA action. Okay, so let's take a look at NBA standings. Uh, Philadelphia 76ers are the best team in the Eastern Conference. And that's, that's about right. This is a good enough team to potentially win. Um, win the conference. Tobias Harris' numbers are down a little bit. Ben Simmons' numbers are pretty accurate to what he usually plays. And then Joel Embiid is pretty accurate to how he played last year, which maybe is a disappointment for some Philadelphia 76ers fans because he went from 27 down to 23. Um, but they're still a better team, so I guess it shouldn't matter too much to you because at the end of the day, y'all are winning games, you know? Um, but the rest of the East is kind of buns. The 76ers are followed by Brooklyn and then the Cleveland Cavaliers, who are better than people expected. Look at that. They got Matthew Dellavedova starting, so I'm guessing that we got injuries. We do have injuries in the sim. Um, so, yeah, a couple big injuries from their front court guys, but they're still holding their own. Milwaukee Bucks on the five-game win streak, so they started off kind of rough, but they put it together. They traded Brooke Lopez for Thomas Bryant. That was a trade that happened, and I just decided to allow it to happen. And they also signed Todd Gibson in free agency. Worst team is the Charlotte Hornets at a 7-25 and record. Um... Point guard, Cody Zeller. Okay, so now we have some real problems here. Because Cody Zeller is starting. Okay. Hold on. So, of course, their top two guys are injured. That's fine. But why do we decide to use Cody Zeller as a starting point guard instead of moving LaMelo Ball? The only thing I can think of is the guy winning to it 
to make it so LaMelo Ball cannot start his rookie season. I bet that's the case. That's the only thing I could think of. Where is that at? Where is that at? Force non-starter on. Which I can understand why you do that because in real life, LaMelo Ball is coming off the bench. But if, if Terry Rozier and Devontae Graham got injured in real life, of course they're going to start LaMelo Ball. I'm taking this off for the sake of the video because why the hell is Cody Zeller running the point guard position? Like that's, come on, man. Let's, let's, let's make it work. And maybe that should be something 2K looks into as well because that's not necessarily the roster creator. That's like 2K saying, oh, this on, you can only toggle this on and under any circumstances. If you have this on, you cannot start, which we know is not the case. Because what player in NBA history, no matter the injuries, can't start? Even Lou Will started some games because they had injuries. Manu Ginobili started some games because they have injuries. And these are like the most notorious six men of all time. So, 2K, let's get on top of that. Okay, I just want one of these games to be close, and this is <laughs> this is not going to be it. Okay, Brooklyn does not come to play. But after that, let's just see who's on the All-Star team. Any body different than what we normally see look at that demar DeRozan makes an all-star game for the first time in a minute so that's kind of cool De'Aaron fox makes his first all-star game and then on team lebron um usual suspects plus drummond and Vucevic is back for the first time in a few years cool um league awards that makes sense this makes sense that makes sense this makes sense this also makes sense shea is in that conversation so, I mean, not a lot has changed, honestly. And maybe the changes would be with the simulation. I'm not the simulation, but the tendencies if we watch them play. So, again, I'm trying to find the perfect game so we can get in there and make things happen. But every team I go to SimCast, every game I go to SimCast ends up being like a blowout. Every single one of them. Now, one thing I have noticed throughout all of this is there's there's a lot of injuries that's going on in here. And I don't know if that's, that's just 2K. But inside the, the report, it did say... That upgraded durability. And maybe that upgraded durability is making it so players get injured more often. I'm not completely sure. So with every single game I tuned into, nothing felt different uh, more than just a normal 2K sim. But here are the final numbers. Luka wins MVP. LaMelo wins Rookie of the Year. Spencer Dinwiddie, Sixth Man of the Year. Get well soon, Spencer Dinwiddie. It sucks that you got injured, man. Jonathan Isaac wins Defensive Player of the Year. Brandon Clark, Most Improved. And then Luke Walton. What? Now that is, that is different. That is different right there. Hold on. What happened in the second half of the season for us to get to this point with the Sacramento? Okay. I love Sacramento. Hey, listen, if you watch my other channel, you know that I'm a big fan of what the Sacramento Kings are doing right now. But this ain't right. Maybe they proved me wrong, but this ain't right. Them being the one seed? Maybe this ain't the most realistic roster. I mean, they had the Portland Trail Blazers miss in the playoffs. Let's take a look at um, Robert Covington's final numbers. They regressed back to. They regressed back to what 2K be having them looking like, bro. What? What? Is this roster just the same? Oh, Denver looked horrible. Okay. Um. Oh, I'm guessing Jokic got injured then. Where's Jokic? Where the uh, Jokic is here? So we did see a ton, a ton of injuries in this. Let me see. Um, around the league injury report. This is a lot of injuries, bro. And this is just part, part of it. We've seen players miss big time because of injuries. Like, this, two spinal injuries in the same season? When was the last time y'all see a player had a spinal injury in real life? And we had two in the same season? Fractured his leg, broken arm, broken wrist, broken left thigh? Fingers are broken, hamstrings are torn? Hmm, interesting. I want to take a look at... See, so again, yeah, we're also experimenting together, y'all. We're definitely experimenting together. So right here, I'm just going to go down and look at... Because players are going to miss time. It's just the way of things. Whether it be to rest, whether it be to knickknack injuries, you know, stuff like that happens all the time. As you see, we, did, we do have a decent amount of players playing all 82. You know, like elite players playing all 82. Kawhi only resting one time. You know what I'm saying? So... I guess I over-exaggerated maybe a little bit when it came to the injuries, but it felt like, like Zion missed a bunch of time, which I guess is realistic. Um... Uh, maybe I have uh, over-exaggerated because that's what it felt like. It felt like every single day I was like, oh, somebody got injured. Somebody got injured. But it looks like a lot of people didn't. I mean, Kemba came back a little bit late into the season. So, all right, let's see how this goes. The one seed Sacramento Kings. Listen to that. All right. Simulate like this first round. If the Kings win a championship, then we know. Then we know. You know what I'm saying? Then we know. All of the guys that got eliminated so... Dallas got swept by LeBron and Anthony Davis. Uh, the Houston Rockets got swept because the Warriors are the Warriors again. 
the Pelicans lose, the Raptors lose, the Orlando Magic lose, the Boston Celtics as the higher seed lose in five, even with what looks like a super healthy roster. And yeah, let's get to the next round then. At the end of the day, this video should be cool. Uh, I do, again, respect the guy for spending all the time, even if I don't agree with everything that he put together out here. The Sacramento Kings couldn't get past the Lakers. That's... It's like repeating history, I guess. But this time, there's no cheating involved. 5C LA Lakers versus the Golden State Warriors versus the Brooklyn Nets and the Milwaukee Bucks. See how this goes. I mean, I was going to say this is kind of realistic. If, if Steph Curry had um, Klay Thompson and Draymond with them in real life, but obviously he don't have those. And he got a guy like Kelly Oubre who ain't hit a jump shot all season. And then last, we end up with the Bucks lakers finals, which again is po very possible in real life. Bucks go up 2-0. Lakers go down 3-1. Can they make that comeback? They can't. And Giannis gets his first ring and his first finals MVP. Now, the last thing I do want to take a look at is when it comes to free agency, how this going to play. And then we're going to end the video because, again, he did say that he changed things up. And what do I have to I have to do one last thing because I think I control every single team here. Let me deselect them and just say I got the Bulls for now. And I kind of want to see how free agency works. Okay, y'all, we are seven days into free agency. Let's see how it went. The Bulls get Kawhi Leonard. Okay. Kyle Lowry went to the Cavs. That doesn't really make much sense to me. The Spurs pick up Drummond. I mean, it seems just still um, random randomness. The Spurs, they bring in Drummond. Okay. They bring back LaMarcus. Okay. They bring in Mike Conley. It's like, we go... We're going to be old, but I, I guess we're going to be high, you know? <laughs> Definitely was a good attempt. Usually, I don't see stuff like this other than, like, the PC mod community. So, shout out to all the console guys putting together rosters. We appreciate you around here. Again, in the description, you can, you can search it up yourself and play it if you really want to. This has been Kenny. I'll be back tomorrow. Peace.